What's good guys, it's TSG, and in today's video, we're gonna be diving deep into the ILV token and the SILV2 token, and really going into the uses for both tokens. The first thing I wanna point out is both the Alluvium token and the Silv2 token have the exact same value inside the Alluvium ecosystem. Outside of that, on the open market, the values do vary, uh, and I will go a bit deeper as to why that is a bit later on in the video. The biggest difference between the two tokens are the use cases for both tokens and what we can use them for and what they can do for us. The biggest similarity of these tokens is that both the ILV and the Silv2 token have both hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. So if you do wanna be like them and be super valuable, please do the same. All right, so getting stuck into it. The first thing that we're gonna to do today is look into the Alluvium token, which is the ILV token. As you can see on screen, I'll go through it with you. You've got three main uses. For us having it, we've got three main uses for the ILV token. The first one is its governance and voting. So the Alluvium DAO is directed by its council, its Illuminati council. And the way that we vote those people in is via the ILV token. So having a token enables you to be able to vote for who those council members are, and it gives you that voice in the DAO to see who represents what you want and how you want to see Alluvium go forward in the future. The second use for the ILV token is its staking purposes. So what you can do here is you can use the ILV token and stake it in, in two different pools. And I'm gonna make a video about that later on, going in deep about the differences between the pools. But for now, you've got an ILV pool and an ILV ETH pool that you can use to stake and get yield back from. The last we saw before staking was paused, the ILV pool was giving about 30% APY and the ILV ETH pool was giving about 300% APY. So having that ILV token enables you to stake your ILV to get some amazing rewards, to be honest. The third and the biggest thing, in my opinion, that the ILV token can do for you is it's eligible for RevDiz. So RevDiz is all of the revenue, 100% of the revenue that Alluvium makes through its games, merchandising, just its total revenue, 100% of that goes back out to all stakers. And like we said before, to be able to stake, you need your ILV token. So if you stake that token, you're able to earn the revenue from the entire studio as a whole. So think about that like a dividend that's being paid out to you because you hold the ILV token. So those right there, those three things are the big main uses for the ILV token. Your governance and voting rights, your ability to stake, and your ability to earn revenue distribution. They are the three major things that the ILV token can do for you. And now we're gonna have a look at this SILV2 token. So let's call the ILV token a governance token and the SILV2 token a currency, an in-game currency. The purpose of the SILV2, as you can see on the screen here, is that you're able to spend it in-game on travel fees. So when you wanna go travel to different regions, you can either choose to pay with Ethereum or Silv2. So in today's video, we're focusing on Silv2. So these are the uses for Silv2 paying to go travel. The second one here is to cure shards. So in the game, you're gonna to need to create your Pokeballs or your shards. And the way to do that is you need to pay to make that happen. And you use Silv2 in the game to make that happen. Another use case for Silv2 that's outside of the main game itself is the Alluvatar sale. So Alluvatars is Alluvium's profile picture project uh, that's supposed to be coming out quite soon. And that is something that you can use Silv2 to purchase. So Silv2, as we can see, acts as a gift card for anything Alluvium, essentially. And the fourth and final use case for Silv2 is for the land. The land sale that's supposed to be coming out within the next two to three weeks, you can purchase land with SILV2. Like I said, it acts like a gift card for any purchases inside the Alluvium ecosystem provided by Alluvium Studios themselves. As you can see, just underneath here, it says the Alluvidex, P2P. So peer-to-peer -peer transactions cannot, cannot be done with SILV2. That is not a thing that can happen. Anything P2P is done with Ethereum. The only time you can use Silv2 to purchase something in-game is if it is provided by Alluvium Studios themselves. Again, to recap, your traveling fees, 
your curing of shards, your revivals, the Iluvata sale, the land sale, anything like that that's provided by Alluvium Studios to us as consumers, that can be purchased with Silv 2. The easiest way to look at it, and this is how I look at it personally, ILV is a governance token. It's an income generating token. As you can see, with the staking, it brings in yield. With the revenue distribution, it brings in yield. You don't spend the ILV token, it brings money to you. Whereas if you compare that to SILV2, that doesn't bring currency, that doesn't bring income back to you. The purpose of this is to spend. So ILV is an income generating token, whereas SILV2 is an outgoing token. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is how do we actually get these tokens? We know that we can buy them on central exchanges for ILV, and we know that we can buy SILV2 on Uniswap. So I'm gonna take that, take away the buying from the market, and we're gonna focus on the claiming aspect. If you stake your ILV, you're able to claim both ILV as a reward and SILV2. There is a difference when claiming ILV compared to SILV2. So claiming ILV means that you don't actually have access to that straight away. When you claim ILV, it's vested and locked for 12 months at a staking weight of two times. So it compounds over time, but it is locked away for one year. You don't have access to that at all. Comparing that to SILV2, if you do claim that, that's instant liquidity. So if you wanna sell it out on the marketplace, if you want to use it for land, Iluvatars, when they come out, as soon as they come out, you have that ability to do that. That's not locked or vested. So that is actually why, going back to the start of the video, that is the difference. That is why there is a difference in price, in market value. In the Illuvium ecosystem, the value is pegged one to one, but in the open market, it's not pegged one to one due to that claiming difference. That one is locked away for a year and the price of instant liquidity is that it has a lesser value on the open market. So that is the price that you are paying for instant liquidity. And the final point that I wanna go into before we end this video is that Alluvium as a whole has a total supply of 10 million tokens. And like I said, Alluvium and SILV2 are pegged one to one. So when you claim an SILV2, that takes away one token from the max supply. So if we were to take away 3 million SILV2 tokens, there would only be a total of 7 million tokens left, which increases the revenue that you get because there's a, a smaller split between tokens. And it also increases your governance power because your token inherently holds more weight. So inherently by claiming and using SILV2, that is lowering the total supply and increasing its value. So there you have it guys. Those are the differences between ILV and SILV2. I really hope you found this information helpful, useful, uh, and it's kind of guided you to know what the differences between the two are and what one, which way you want to go. Do you want to go stack ILV or do you want to stack SILV2 to use for future land sales and whatnot? But anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you do like this type of content, like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.